Democrats and Republicans are now putting pressure on the Biden administration to address the influx of migrants at the southern border. Today, another group of lawmakers traveling there to see that situation firsthand. Our Washington correspondent, Rashad Hudson, joins us now with the very latest. And Rashad, what are they saying? Good evening. Both Democrats and Republicans that have toured the southern border are reacting differently, but they do agree that the situation must be addressed quickly. Friday, a group of more than a dozen Republican senators traveled to the Rio Grande Valley in Texas to witness migrants crossing the border. Well, on this trail, we're just a few feet away from the Rio Grande, and you can see the smugglers and the traffickers on the other side flashing their lights at us. Republicans like Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton say the situation is overwhelming for Border Patrol agents. They want the Biden administration to do more to secure the border. Making a mockery of our border, um, and you see the consequences of Joe Biden's failed policies. The Biden administration says it is taking action. And tens of thousands of people are coming to our border. We know that. Um, and so the majority of adults are being turned away. Uh, our policy remains the same. A group of Democrats led by Texas Representative Henry Cuellar and Sylvia Garcia toured a border facility run by the Department of Health and Human Services. They got health care. They got legal services, they got education, they got a place to sleep, a place to take a shower. This whole nonsense mm -hmm. that the border is open and people are coming in and bringing infection is simply false. This week, a U.S. delegation met with officials in Mexico to discuss the root causes of migrants leaving their home countries. We're also learning from Border Patrol officials that they encountered a family of migrants trying to cross the border, and they discovered that they were unresponsive. They were able to save them. They saved two of them, but the young girl died. In Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you. And do we know any more, Rashad, on the situation as far as that death is concerned? Right now, we know that it was a nine-year-old girl, and her and her family were traveling over from Mexico. And when Border Patrol agents found them, all three were responsive, and they were able to save two of them. And unfortunately, that nine-year-old girl passed away. All right, Rashad Hudson, live for us today in D.C. Thanks for that.